one of, if not the most important aspects of clothing men are getting wrong. And that is the rise of their pants, which is the seam from in between the legs at the crotch to the top of the waistband, AKA where the pants sit. And why would I say this? Because we're wearing them wrong. Now that's a bold statement, but it's true. Most people are wearing them wrong because they are wearing them too low. Now there are basically three types of rises to pants, low rise, medium rise, and high rise. And what has been popular throughout the 21st century? Low rise, but men need to start wearing more and embracing high rise pants. Now I can already hear you guys saying, oh, high rise pants are only for old people and nerds. Well. Yes and no. One, older folk, it does tend to fit their body shape, their aging body a lot better. And also, it's what they used to wear, that kind of pants, when they were young. So it's just a tradition that's been going on. They've been dressing quite consistently throughout their life. But the excuse that it's only for nerds is a bad one. Reason one, because nerds are cool now, so ha. But reason number two is that that perception comes from movies. TV shows, characters like Steve Urkel and Ed Grimley and many, many others. And if you know anything about visual media, its influence on our perceptions of reality is unbelievably strong. So for the past 30 years or so, we've made this correlation between socially awkward, physically feeble goofballs, funny guys that aren't the traditional masculine stoic man and high rise pants. But history will show us that that can't be further from the truth. Now, the history of pants and high-rise pants in particular can be traced to the ancient Scythians and other equestrian nomadic or Iranian groups, but also famed for wearing pants were the ancient Celts, which the Romans and the Greeks considered both the Scythians and the Celts as barbarians, and thus pants being something of barbaric nature, and that tunics were the clothing of civilized men. Boy, how the tables turn. But if we're talking about modern history, then all we have to do is look at the teens, the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, all the way up until the 70s when low riders first make a gradual appearance, and up until the early 2000s when they hit their low point. So if we look at the history of pants in general, we see that for thousands of years, up until less than half a century ago, not that long ago, Humans have been wearing pants at the natural waistline, i.e. at the belly button, AKA what we call today is high rise pants. And now that we see that low riders are not the norm throughout most of human history and that we've gravitated towards high rise pants for millennia, I'm gonna let my bro Ian explain you why this is. Yo Ian, take it away boy. Whoa, easy there tiger. What's going on gents? It's your boy Ian from the Fit Man Style channel. Now here's the thing. See, we out here in the Western world, we tend to take clothing and make it look fashionable. But in reality, when you take a look at menswear, like, there's a good chunk of menswear that originated from the military. And when you look at the totality of menswear, there is a functional history behind what we wear. There's a reason why you wear a pocket square, a, a waistcoat, a sports jacket, a fedora. It's a reason why you only button one button on a two button single breasted jacket. Well, guess what? high-waisted pants aren't any different. So I just wanna give you three quick points as to why high-waisted pants are a necessity in your wardrobe. Point number one, you're going back to the basics. If you are a sartorial purist or an aspiring sartorial purist, you know, high-waisted pants, you're typically talking about dress pants, right? Even though there are companies out there like Luxire that offers high-waisted jeans, Typically, you're talking about dress pants. Well, dress pants were designed for you to be worn at your natural waistline, which is by your belly button. And that leads to point number two. Point number two, when you wear the pants at your natural waistline and you're wearing it with a jacket of some sort, sport coat, blazer, suit jacket, or even with a waistcoat, you wanna have continuity from your torso to your legs so you can have a nice streamlined look. You don't wanna have your shirt or your tie poking out of the quarters of your jacket because your pants are too low. And point number three, if your legs are shorter than your torso, wearing high-waisted pants at your natural waistline, it elongates your legs and it gives you the perception of longer legs. And if you're a guy like me, whose legs are already longer than my torso, it just compliments it. All right, Demetrius, thank you for having me on here. Now, back to you. 
My man. Thank you, Ian. My bro goes into great detail and real in-depth on high-rise pants and a bunch of other topics, so please go check him out. Awesome guy. Great detailed topics and one of the most real guys I've met, especially in the style community. And he's really right about this stuff. The continuity and the flow when you wear high-rise pants coupled with a suit or a suit jacket. Your eyes just glide up and down continuously with no distractions because there's no distracting shirt triangle to be seen anywhere. And yes, they make you look taller. Now, you can still be tall and wear high-rise pants because the key factor here is how long your legs are in relation to your torso. Now, if you're like me and you have short legs and a long torso, then high-rise are perfect because they make you look more proportionate. And that is incredibly important. Better proportions means less distraction and more continual flow. They also drape better, which is a hugely underappreciated aspect of pants and clothing in general. They're more comfortable because they sit naturally on the waist and no plumber butt crack. The biggest positive. But I can still hear you, I get it and all, but I don't think I'm ready to make that leap of faith. And I get you out there, Faye. I wasn't sold on the idea at first. I thought they made my stomach look a little weird. I didn't care for how they really looked. But what first got me into wearing high-waisted pants were Gurkha trousers. That large cummerbund-like waistband straightens out the waist and it flattens you right there. So you're technically wearing high-rise pants, but you don't have that typical high-rise pants look. And you guys should know by now that we at Craftsman love our Gurkha trousers. That's what we make. That's what we're known for. Now, you don't have to use Gurkhas as just a bridge into the high-waisted world. I mean, Gurkhas are my favorite style of pants, period. But it can be great if you're not sold on that traditional high-waisted pants look. But whatever you decide to go with, there's no greater detail that will make such a world of difference from bringing your outfit from average to absolutely nailing that sartorial flair in high-waisted pants. It's coming back, thank God, and I really do believe it'll become more and more popular and, dare I suggest, mainstream during these not-so-roaring 20s. But I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below if you'll wear high-waisted trousers. And if not, at least give it a try. Hey, if I ever steered you wrong, you know that ain't the case because this this is a group thing and we're in this together and hey i thank my boy ian for being a part of this it was amazing working with you man i'll have his channel linked in the description below so you guys can go send him some love and with that yeah there are my brothers i'll see you all next week adios i'm actually sweating today i brought out the linen and i'm gonna be wearing flannel because it's gonna get cold again i can't take it anymore this year Oh my gosh. Calm down. I need to know everything. Who in the what and the where I need everything.